you keen? Move out. Do you and keen still talk? Are you still a virgin? <laughs> It's Sarah, welcome back to my YouTube channel, as you guys can tell by the title. Today is a Q&A, and by Q&A, I mean I'm probably about to answer a million questions about breaking up with Kane, probably questions about Kane, questions about dating people. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the general gist of this whole entire video, so if you guys are interested in that, keep watching. If you're not interested in that, keep watching, and give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get personal. That was my worst intro ever. Like oh my god, yo, so many people don't know that I broke up with Kane. If you guys haven't watched that video, yeah, that happened. So, probably go watch that, then come watch this. Um, yeah, we're gonna answer some questions now, so. Uh -huh. Question number one, did Kane move out after you guys broke up? Yes, Kane moved out. That would be so awkward if Kane still lived here two months later. <laughs> I just feel like that would be so weird. So yeah, I live in this apartment by myself now. So if y'all want to move in and cook for me because I suck at cooking, hit me up in the DMs on Instagram. This is my Instagram. Come say hey, looking for a roommate. I'm actually not looking for a roommate. But if you do want to come over and cook for me like every day, hit me up in the DMs. <laughs> Are you still a virgin? <laughs> Why haven't you been uploading videos recently? I'm probably because this happened. Yeah. <laughs> On the real, I kind of just want to take a break because I just felt like that was the right thing to do. Your girl isn't that good at taking a break. Ever since I came back to YouTube, I've literally been working every single day, but I'm very lucky to have this job, so I love it. But I'm going to be back to uploading videos weekly, so I hope you guys are excited. But yeah, I took a break because Kay and I broke up and it just felt like the right thing to do. I feel a lot better now. So oh, and I don't know how I forgot this, but your girl went to freaking Thailand, so, so yeah, I just felt like doing that and not filming the whole thing. So yeah, that's why I took a break. Next question is, have you got bad acne? And if so, how do you deal with it? Your girl doesn't have bad acne. Actually, right now my skin is probably the best that it's been ever. Now that I say that, I'm probably gonna break out tomorrow because I feel like every time I ever say this, I literally break out the next freaking day. Thanks, skin gods. I am not kidding you guys. After I filmed this video, my skin broke out. My acne was always because I wasn't drinking enough water. Lame, I know, because I hate it when people say that. Drink more water, you may have acne. I changed my skincare routine and just like worked out things that work for me. I don't want to recommend that anyone does this because I don't know anything about anything, but I also started taking probiotics and I think that my acne was because of like a stomach issue that I have. I did a lot of things. Skin sucks. How do you feel when people recognize you and take pictures and ask for signatures? When y'all come up to me, it literally makes me so freaking happy. I love it. The only time that I have ever felt slightly uncomfortable was two times two different people just followed me at the mall and your girl is socially awkward AF so I kind of felt like I was being stalked a little bit but it's chill I understand that some people are shy but please come up to me I do have RBF a little bit so if I look mad please know that I'm not <laughs> please come say hey because I want to take pictures and I want to hug I want to talk to you guys so come say hey sorry for my RBF I promise that I'm not mad unless I'm hangry then maybe I am mad I don't know maybe come up to me with like a Kit Kat or something <laughs> I don't know come say hey I love it what is the most useless talent that you have I can make my tongue into a clover <laughs> it's not even a good clover <laughs> I'm actually not even good at it some people can do it a lot better I can make my tongue into like an ugly clover so love that talent I, st I still don't see it that <laughs> that's what people call it a clover maybe I can't even do that like <laughs> yeah, thanks Kane you just freaking made me feel like I can't do anything good I don't even have a useless talent I'm not even talented okay wow it just burst me <laughs> good thing we broke up yeah good thing we broke up because I'd definitely be breaking up with you right now Another useless talent that I have is I'm very mediocre at playing the ukulele, which I can't even play anymore because this happened. 
Love that for me. <laughs> okay, this is probably the most important question in the whole video, so y'all better prepare yourself. Do you consider yourself to be a visco girl? <laughs> I think one of my polaroids just fell off the wall. The other day I was trying to explain to someone what a visco girl was and I was like, it's like these girls that just wear oversized t-shirts and they always have scrunchies and they have these backpacks and they always carry hydro flasks with them and they were like, so you're basically explaining you. So I guess I am a visco girl. Next question, I feel like kind of awkward talking about this. This <laughs> I don't know why this makes me feel awkward. The question is, do you still like doing DIYs? If you watched my channel like a year ago, you would know that I used to make a lot of DIY videos. And when I was making them, I genuinely liked doing them. But for me now, I feel like unless it's something like my last Visco Girl video, then I feel like I am not good enough at doing DIYs to do it as my only videos that I post. Plus, my friend Lauren is freaking bomb at making DIYs, so if you could watch her videos, I'm not really sure why anyone would want to watch me do a DIY. Who was your first kiss? My first kiss was a guy called David. It was a dare. He asked me out like two seconds after and then broke up with me a week later. Still kind of salty. My friend Abby told me that David said hey the other day and I was like, hey, thanks for breaking up with me when I was like 12 years old. Do you see yourself marrying Kane? <laughs> I don't think they watched the video. Did you go to university or college or college? Cut! Did you go to university or college? And if so, what did you major in? I went to my first year of university and I did a Bachelor of Public Relations and Communications and then I deferred and then I deferred again and I deferred again and now I'm here. Does that mean I dropped out? I feel like I did the typical YouTube thing where like I posted videos and my channel took off and then I just dropped out of college. Is it hard to be so far away from the other YouTube girls in LA? For me, I actually do find it pretty hard because before I went to LA recently, I hadn't met anyone. So to me, I kind of felt disconnected from the whole YouTube community, but you know, FaceTime exists. I would rather be surrounded with people that are doing similar things to me. I obviously wish that I could hang out with them because it was fun, like I miss everyone, but it's okay, your girl's still trying to get her visa. If that could just hurry up, visa gods, please bless me. What happened to this year's back to school series? Your girl broke up with her boyfriend, so that wasn't really my priority. I then went to Thailand. Next question, who takes your photos now that you've broken up with Kim? Kane. <laughs> Next question is, do you and Kane still talk? Well, you know, it's kind of awkward. Um, we don't... No, we, we don't really talk at all, do we? No, not really. No, mm. I, no not at all. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna say no. What is it like being an Australian? <laughs> being an Australian is pretty cool. I've lived near the beach for like my whole life, so can't imagine not doing that. I was talking to someone the other day that doesn't live near the beach and never has lived near the beach, and to me, I cannot imagine that ever. Comment down below, do you guys live near the beach or not? Do you have any tattoos or will you get any? I don't know why, you guys, but I always thought that I would be the person that would never get any tattoos ever because I can't make a freaking decision for literally any reason like just decisions are not my thing but I think that I want to get a tattoo I, <laughs> I don't know I am so indecisive that I probably shouldn't but I think that I'm going to wish me luck I want to ask this question to Kane <laughs> hey Kane yeah what's up what is the best decision that you've made in 2019 I feel like it's weird but us breaking up hey <laughs> <laughs> same though Are you going to VidCon Australia? Um, I, I, I don't know if VidCon Australia wanted me. So, hey VidCon Australia, kind of salty. I live in Australia and you didn't have me there, but maybe next year. I'm probably still going to be upset about this next year, but you know, keep flying American YouTubers over to your convention. I, I'm like two hours away, but whatever. It's cool. I, um, I'm not salty. <laughs> no, I don't care. Can
Can this be your last question? You know what? It can. Okay, I think that is it for this Q&A because I just answered that question. So if I didn't end the video here, like it wouldn't be, it'd be wrong. It's, it's my right to end the video now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you know a little bit more about me now. Comment down below. Let me know what other questions you have for my next Q&A. And maybe I'll take them from the comments on this YouTube video. And I will see you guys in my next video next week because I'm a consistent YouTuber and I love you. And peace out from your favorite Visco girl.